What's up guys, today we got a brand new video. As you see, Mr. Dan Steyer is back with us from Mac Tools RBRT, and he brought some extractor sockets. So let's dive into these, cause they're pretty cool. All right, guys, like I mentioned in the intro, Dan Steyer is back with us and he's with Mac RBRT Division and he brought some pretty cool products and I'm gonna let Dan explain them to you because these are pretty neat. Thanks a lot, Clay. Appreciate you having Absolutely. me back to your channel. Really love coming back and speaking to your audience. Today, fellas, we're here to talk about our newly launched extractor sockets in the eight piece metric set from 11 to 18 and from the five piece SAE set from 7 16 to 11 16 we brought along one of our super bad demo blocks to show these bad boys off and what they can do. Cool. So the whole premise is, is when you've rounded a bolt off to the point where your six point is no longer grabbing it, you choose the extractor socket that's closest to the size that you're working on, you bang it down with a hammer, they bite in and they're able to remove rounded bolts and nuts. And one of the great things about our extractor socket versus like a turbo socket mm -hmm. is with ours, it goes both forward and reverse. Sometimes when you're trying to take out a rounded bolt, sometimes you got to crank up on it a little bit before you crack down on it. Mm -hmm. Our extractor socket design allows you to put torque on that bolt both ways, as well as when we go out and I show you in the demo block that if you're running around the shop trying to find a bolt to replace it and you just can't find one, you can put that bolt back into where it came from and tighten it down with a pretty good degree of certainty. It's going to be fine. Right. Maybe send that equipment down the road or send that customer's car down the road and order something in to fix it later on, but you don't have to tie the vehicle down while you try to find or order a bolt. So mm -hmm. that's a really neat feature of our new extractor sockets. And they also come on our really nice new magnetic rail, guys. Um, we're very proud of the magnetic rails. Okay. So these are magnetic on the bottom as well as on the top? Yeah, they're magnetic on the bottom as well as the top. They come with a little nub that is floating in the in the design and then a little quarter turn locks it in place. Oh, See, isn't that neat? Yeah. Locks it in place. So you can, if you wanted them all closer together. Right. Cool. You can yeah. customize it to the sizing. So, so maybe you might want to take those extractor sockets off and put them onto something else and use the rail for a, a different right. set of sockets. You can, you can yeah. customize the size. So that's another neat little feature. It's got the little puller when, uh, this bad boy locks down on a piece of metal. That puller is real nice to lift it right off just like that. So right. real great design, real nice uh, feature to the extractor socket set is our new magnetic rail. I noticed these, um, which, you know, we talked about them when you come and did the catalog video, right. the pusher screw yep. that's with it. And um, you want to explain sure. how so, all of that works? So how this, how this, we call this our FOR, foreign object removal pusher screw, pusher rod. So when you've banged this down onto a nut and you've cracked it loose, now that bad boy's wedged in there pretty good. So just like our foreign object removal extractors, right? right we use the same clever idea and it threads in from the back like that. And it just pushes the material out. Nice so and easy. So were the extractor sockets um, the way they work, they push from the outside. This one pushes from the, from inside. the inside. Right. So it's a threaded, what is that, a 13 or so? That's a 12 millimeter. 12 actually. millimeter. Yep. So it just shoves it out from the inside. What That's if, right. what if, um, like on a large size like this, what if the, the bolt or the nut is in here? Won't that go through the center? It of will if it's a nut, but there's enough room in there to drop a little washer down okay. in there. So you can use the washer to, to force out a nut. Yeah. I'll get a close up of this and that way you guys can see it. And uh, so you just put a washer in before you ever yeah. start. So yeah. that's all you got to do. Cool. And that's got a part number on it. I see. So if that messes up, right. you just give that back to your Mac guy 100%. and get a brand new one. Mm -hmm. so. Cool. So I guess we'll go out in the shop and, uh, do a little demo yeah, block. Let's, let's go. Right. Let's check it out. Come on. Sounds great. All right, guys. So here is Dan's demo block. As you see how they look. So he's got it all set up here. And uh, we'll see how it works. So. so what we've got, and Brent's going to be helping me out on this, 
they're nine sixteenths. They started out as a nine sixteenths bolt, and and we had the machine shop one hundred percent rounded out. So there are no corners on these whatsoever, and we've got a a standard regular nine sixteenths chrome six point socket that we can put on there, and you can just see that there's no way that these bad boys are going to grab. I mean, these things are literally 100% rounded off, okay? So what we'll do is we'll grab the 9 16 extractor socket, 3 8 drive, and I'm going to go ahead and hand that over to Brent. And Brent, grab yourself a hammer and drive it down on there, and you just take a light tap. There we go. And we've got... Now the great thing about these sockets is that you're able to go both forward and reverse with them. So sometimes when you're working that ratchet back and forth, you've got to crack that, you've got to put a little pressure in the, in the tightening position before you, can, before you can crack it loose. And right. that's where our design shines because you bang it on there with a hammer and you can actually torque up on it and then crack it loose. You can't yeah. do that with a turbo socket because they're twisted for the left only. So now that that bad boy's, do me a favor and go ahead and screw it back down in there and let's give them an idea of how well this works going back the other way in the tightening position. Go ahead and tighten that bad boy down. You can snug it down with a fair degree of assurance mm -hmm. that it's not going to come out. So if you had to reuse that bad bolt, oh, you oh, could. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could if you had to. And in this position, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get the forcing screw out. That's the FOR screw that comes with every set. Tighten her down there. And out she comes. There we go. Uh oh, it unstripped out the block. No, oh. There it came. Let me grab it. And now she comes. And then what, what that does is that fits in from the, the back side and it's threaded through there. And we'll use that one there and the ratchet. And it simply pushes that bad boy right on out of there. And that's what we call the foreign object removal screw. How's that? That's cool. Pretty neat, right? Yep. All so, right. Yep. So we see how your demo block works, but you know, everybody always questions, is that rig for your tool? Sure. I can understand that. So I know you're a man that believes in the products that he sells. Indeed I do. So I've got some strip stuff here if you're willing to take the challenge. Let's give it a try. All right, let me show you what we got. I knew you'd say that. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Let's do it. So here's what we've got. As you can see, and they started out their life as a 13 millimeter and they're completely round. So that's one of the problems that we got. This one, of course, is not stripped. These two are. And then we've got these bad boys and you can see they're, they're pretty trashed. And then lastly, I got this one that come off of Amlex that the Baron went bad, as you can see. And uh, that one's in really bad shape. Right? So well, I love a challenge. That one looks like it's going to be a challenge, all right. <laughs> it's going to be. <laughs> so what's your predictions before we start, Brent? Do you think, what do you I, think the chances of it? I think he can do it. I can do it? Yeah. All right. Well, let's try it and see. So let's go with the let's go with this one first. And okay. you say this started out as a 13 millimeter. Started right? its life as a 13. So let's see. I would probably would bet that a 13 millimeter extractor socket will be will just be too loose because it started out as a 13. 
And although I can tell that it does make contact, it's a little little looser than I'd like, so I'm going to go ahead and take the 12 millimeter. Okay. Smack it down on there. Thank you very much. I'm not able to get it down on there. You can see where it's making the welts. So why don't we look at that one right there. So now that's a half inch size and this okay. is where incremental sizes can matter. You know, I mean, the, obviously the 12 was too small to right. bang on there. The 13 is where they started. That's kind of rounded. So having the half inch might be the way to go. Right. So let's see what we can do with that. The whole point about the extractor socket is not get hung up on the size, just find the best one out of the series and, and, and crack it on there and see if she'll come off. There you go. See, you know, so that's what we've done. And Oh, looky there. Out she comes. How about that? And then I'll go ahead and use my FOR screw and the 12 millimeter to snug it up on there. Grab a ratchet. And you can just use your hand. I mean, it pushes it out pretty easy. It pops it right out of there. And you can see the the marks that that bad boy made when it bit in there and got it out. Oh yeah, it eat in there deep too. Yep, they don't play around. They bite down. They make their mark. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the next one as well. Yeah. Yeah. Another we'll do that one, one and, and 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 this one we won't start with a twelve. We'll go straight to the half inch. And I'll tell you what, Clay, can I use that 3 8 cordless impact yep. we had That's laying around there. here? These are totally impact rated. And out they come. And I was even able to tighten that back down again, so I'm going to show your audience that when we put that bad boy back in there, Look at how well that bit. Now, if you're in that situation and you needed to reuse that bolt, then you just use the pusher screw to pop it right up off of that bolt. And you can let that thing go down the road because that's tight. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. So the tough one, you want to try it next? Yeah. Was this one? You think that one's going to be the that that I mean that's a challenge. Look at that. That's yeah, a, that that, that bad boy's destroyed. Destroyed. She's, no doubt about it. She's seen better days. Any idea what that started at? Probably a fifteen, if I had to guess. All right. Well, the, looks like the twelve is a little bit too. Too tight, so let's look for the 13. That 13 fit down on there without any without any tapping at all. So you know what I might do? I might just try that, see if it's or there's enough meat there right. to grab it. Oh, not even gonna tap it on then. No. So it wouldn't take it. Okay. That's why it's important to get these bad boys and, and hammer them on. They are designed, they are meant to be, to be beat on there. And once again, it looks like that 12 ain't going to do it, so let's go back to the half. What do we do with it? Did it? Yeah, that's probably it right there. Do 
Got her, Brent? Nope. All right. Don't be a challenge. That, that is a challenge. That's that's a hard one. Let's see what other sizes we got here that might do the trick. Well, I think we've already tried the thirteen. Let's see if we can get this bad boy on there now. Tell you what. Well, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to win this fight, but let's see. Which way is reverse on this, up or down? Probably yeah, going down, down, down the right? Bottom, yeah. I'm not willing to give up just yet. I knew it was going to be tough. I don't have hardly nothing to bite onto is my problem. You want to clap it in the vise? Yeah, let's try that. Give you a little more stable. Well, guys, this proves this was not rigged <laughs> or staged because <laughs> y'all know he would have got it out first try. We like to put Dan to the test when he shows up. Right. Keep him on his toes. Hey, you know what? That's all. It's like, and it's it's the perfect example of not every tool works every time. Oh, well, I think it did at that time. It feels like it did, but there ain't a whole lot there. So let us see. Nope. I just don't think I'm going to get that win. She's in bad shape. It is. Half inch. I'm not going to get that bolt out. Well, nobody likes to fail, but it was bad. It was bad to start with. I really don't have much shoulder to get onto anymore. Yeah, it's kind of angled in yeah, with the problem. It's an oddity. It's an odd one. 11's not going to do it. I don't know, Clay. I don't think I'm going to get that one, brother. No. You want a bigger hammer? Uh, you, could I have a bigger hammer? Absolutely. Let's try a bigger hammer. You ask and you. you shall receive. Right. Let's see. First off, let's have a quick look at what we got. That's pretty chewed up. That's fine. I just don't have any, any real surface to grab onto anymore. It's so mushroomed out. Don't think I'm going to win this fight. I'll tell you what, I think if I'd had. I'm not going to get that out. I can't get a bite on it. It's because of the angle, I think, the way that bolt was rounded. It was bad, though. What else we got? We got that one. All it's, right. Now it's about the same. It is. The same story. As you guys can see, it's in really bad shape. My my problem is is the 
the clearance I have between this piece and the bolt here, but let's give it a try. try. I might get it on that tall one. This tall one here. So they're all bad. Break it, Luke? Sure did. Oh, geez. Well, you know it's turning it, but it doesn't look like it's coming out like it's. But I've definitely got that. I mean, I've got a hold of it. If it was going to come off of there, it would be. Right. Yeah, it's it's actually you can see the backside of it turning. So if I had something to grab that. Stayed. Yeah, 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 yeah. You got her. Got a hold of it. Go for it. Well, we got it. I mean, it's turning. Is it unthreading? Sure, it's sure. coming out of there. Look at that. You got it. Oh, that's impressive. I think the whole that reason one I got. of the failure on this one was the way it was rounded. Because it wasn't straight up and down sure. rounded. It was kind of, it looked like somebody put a, like a 12 or something in there and stripped it out from halfway or so. You know, it was kind of angled pops it right out of there that right there is nice being able to that's very cool <laughs> isn't it yeah so let's try that one first Sounds like it's getting easier. Yeah, that one got, that one got it. There we go. There she is. And I would say that's about what you would what you'd expect. What you would expect. Yeah. I mean those others was definitely overkill and done way more so well that one came out of there that's more realistic in real life there those others were definitely pushed to the extreme so i'm not sure what we're looking at here is it just a bottoming out issue i think it is i think i'm bottoming out all right so, you think that one will work, huh? We're going to give this one a try. It's okay. the 15 millimeter. Let's see if it'll, we can get that on. There. Now, obviously, it's not, it's it's actually not, uh, it's it's the same issue. It's bottoming out. The, th the, the, the stud there is bottoming yeah. out in the bottom of that. I don't know whether or not I have enough. I mean, that's pretty round. Look at that. Holy cow. I'm getting it. It's coming. And I don't have... You didn't have to bite it on. I didn't, but I don't have a whole lot of bite on there at all. As we start to come off of this stud, we'll be able to see just how much of that, that fastener was in the tool, which is not going to be very much. thought she had failed on that one. I mean, you can... <laughs> there wasn't much in there, was it? There wasn't, no, there wasn't a whole lot in there. I mean, it wasn't like I could drive it on there and get a yeah. really good bite. I was only really kind of sitting in there and those six points of contact. Well, but it took it out of there. Out. I mean, that bad boy's round, so I'll take that as a win. Yep. Right? Without a doubt. All right. Anytime you get it off and you couldn't before, <laughs> you, you win that one. It's a win, right? <laughs> That's it. All right. 
Well, guys, y'all see Dan's demo block had worked out in the shop, and I threw him a curveball. I will admit, a lot of the bolts was extremely, extremely rounded off. We rounded them off on purpose just so we could give his tools a harder test. Mm -hmm. And I think they did a great job considering most of the bolts would not been that round. Like nobody's gonna strip them out to that extent in yeah. real life, you know, right. but. You kind of went over the extra edge yeah, there. To, like, to, to, to if I the... don't keep you on your toes, people will think your tools, <laughs> right? you know, it's all rigged, but it's definitely not. But it I mean, never is with, with you and I, you know? <laughs> That's true. Absolutely. One of the cool things in this month's flyer, which is flyer 11, yep. And it's, um, the date's on it, September the 28th to October 25th. Mm -hmm. And on page seven, it's got the RBRT sets. It's on sale. It looks like the uh, metric set is $25 off and mm -hmm. the standard set is $18 right. off. So that way you guys can save a little money on some cool tools. But um, anything else you wanna add? Uh, no. No, I think that about covers it. I mean, we did some good demoing. We, yeah. we saw how these bad boys can work and in, the, in, in a situation and get out the, uh, get out the round of bolts. Clay, thanks very much for having me on the Thank channel. You. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you for coming. All right. Like always, guys, be sure to check with your Mac dealer or Mac tools online if you want to pick up any of the tools you see. And if you're interested in some of the other RBRT stuff, Dan came and we did a video where we showed the entire RBRT lineup that yeah. they have every single piece that has rbr technology built into it is in that video so take a look at that because they got y'all got a how many products show 42 different part numbers now including the new l keys yeah. the extractor sockets and the t handles that we've just launched we've got 42 different part numbers to take care of pretty much anything you'll come mm -hmm. across in the field clay lots of it yep like always guys thanks for watching this video if you like it be sure to hit that thumbs up and click that subscribe button. It's free. It never costs you guys a dime. Y'all have a great week, and we will catch y'all next Thank time. Thank you.